What's up, guys? Mardi Gras Man 23 here, and we've got a few things. So I went to a dirt cheap down the road today. This one is about 20 minutes away, 25 minutes away, probably 20 minutes. And I went there to check and see if they had anything because I got some good stuff at my dirt cheap. So all I found there today was these. Picked these up. They were 50% off, so they were $4.99, which is a regular price. They, so that made them $2.50, so... I think there was six of them. I think that's a pretty good poly bag, so that's why I got those. But the reason I went there is because the other day, uh, end of last week, I went to my dirt cheap and I found these. These are seven six. What is that? Seven six two one three. It's a Wakanda King Namor Namor's King Namor's throne room. Not really a great set. Uh, the movie was just okay. Uh, but these sets are on clearance everywhere. So you see it's $18.69. Well, it was half off of that, so they were $9 and some change. So I figured they'd make a pretty good part out. Uh, it's 355 pizzas. So we got one, two, three. Let's raise the camera up. Three, four. Five and six. So we're definitely parting those out. But I also found this. This set was 20 bucks. Now the problem is they only had one, but for $20, that's a really good price. That's uh, Hogwarts, uh, Harry Potter, Dumbledore's office. I didn't have this one. I don't think I have too many from this this year's line, whichever year this was. But you can see this is what happens a lot. This was obviously someone's Christmas present. They didn't want it. They brought it back to Target. Target marked it down. Target wasn't interested in selling it because the regular price was $79.99 and they marked it to $55.99. And it obviously just sat on their clearance shelf wherever it was. And then... It got sent to the Dirt Cheap. It got sent to their Reclaim. So it went to Dirt Cheap, and Dirt Cheap put $40 on it, which is surprising that they didn't put $80 on it. So at $20, bucks, I could not pass that one up. But there was a set. There was a couple other sets that I passed on, and there was a set behind the counter that I thought about getting, but I didn't want to spend $100. So then I got home, and I said, you know what? I'm going back tomorrow, and if it's there... I'm going to get it, and if it's not, it's no big deal. It wasn't meant to be. It would have been a really great a really great deal at $100, a little over $100 at half off, but it wasn't there. So I actually saw this one, which I didn't, this one, I didn't see this one the day before. This one was behind the counter. This is the Room of Requirements. Again, I don't have this one. This is part of that line where you can snap them all together to kind of make a big, um, you make a big Hogwarts castle play set so that one is seven six four one three five hundred eighty seven pieces now here's the kicker when I got up to the counter there's no price tag on that one and I had three other sets with me that I was going to get anyway that I passed on the day before but I figured since they didn't have the other set I would go ahead and get them for the Bricklink store so when I get up to the counter, I asked the lady, I said, this uh, doesn't have a price sticker on it. How much is it? She says, well, the Legos are $5. I said, really? Are you sure? She said, yeah. I said, well, what about these other ones? So she rang all these up at $5. So I paid $5 for that one. And then I paid $5 for this one. 60324, the mobile crane. Again, I got this to part out. Uh, they had three of them. And I passed on them the day before. And then I decided, you know, it's a pretty good part out. It's $28, so it would have been $14. But $5 is even sweeter. So we got all we got three of those to part out. And then I got one more set to build. And actually, this one she had already rang up before I started asking the question. So I did pay half price for this one. This is uh this is this uh Fast and Furious car. Look what's crazy is it says too fast, too furious, but I think that's from the original Fast and the Furious, right? So we picked that one up. I'm going to build this one. I already have one sealed. This one's already this one's open, so I figured this one will be the one I build, and I'll save the other one. But 
at five dollars this is pretty outstanding that Harry Potter set um, these three so I'm gonna part out at least two of these might keep one because it's a it's a decent set but then again I don't know if I have any use for it so I might end up by the time I get around to parting it out so now I have a huge part out pile um, I've got a lot of sets to part out so this is gonna add to it and just grow the BrickLink store and that's the plan so that's all I got for this one I got some really great deals I got the five dollar Harry Potter set the five dollar city crane sets I got the the twenty dollar Dumbledore's office I got the these were nine dollars for the Wakanda sets uh, half off on these and that one was ten bucks so you think I did good I think I did really good on the five dollar sets, but what about the other ones? What do you think? I mean, these this has a part out of like, I think I want to say fifty plus or sixty dollars. Um, and I know some of that's driven by the figs, and they're not real popular figs. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to part out three of the figs, three sets. There's six, so I'm going to put three figs in the store and part out three, and then we'll see which sells faster. Um, when I do these, I'm definitely going to part out the figs. These part out at 50 plus, I believe. So five dollars, that's a steal. And then those Harry Potters, I know will make money parting them out. But I just have one of them, so I might just sit on them for a little while. So that's all for this one. Really appreciate all the support. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know how I did, and we'll see you in the next. <laughs>